Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Daisen, and we're taking a look at tofu. We, we've been up for about three and a half hours, and this is before, this is all of the processed soybeans. Ohayou gozaimasu. You can see inside. It's boiled until it's about 90 degrees. 90, 92 degrees Celsius, and then it's put through this strainer. You can see it coming out. So that's soy milk. Tonyu, de show. Mm, Tony. Wow, it's all got all the steam. Next, uh, after we've strained the, the soy milk, this is all of the water is squeezed out. You see, your son is doing that now. Thank you, Jim. And after it's all of it, all of the, all of the milk is squeezed out. <laughs> Mukichi is getting in on it. <laughs> pull, pull. Pull out more, yeah. Wow. Dame, dame, dame. Just get there. Ah, not there, ne. Ride it like a horse. And we're trying to get all of the the soy milk out of the oh, there it is. And then when that's done, this is this is moved out, and then the soy milk is put into here, and then it's strained even more. We, we woke up, so we woke up at around 4.30 in the morning, 4, uh, 4.20 in the morning, and uh, from, from grinding the beans, the soybeans, we grind, ground them here, and then it comes out, oh, you can't see it, but it comes out of the spigot into the bucket, and it's all just white, um, crushed soybeans and milk coming from the water, and the water, water flows in it with the beans, and then is ground up into the bucket and then we boil boil it until it's 90 degrees centigrade so you got lots of wood in there and now we're cleaning the cleaning the pot or nabe wow You can see the design is made so you can cut the tofu into cubes. It leaves a star pattern on it. You can see in the finished finished version, you can see some of the pattern in it from the, the wood box around it. This is what it looks like before it's squeezed. Uh, this is what the raw tofu looks like. This is in its purest form.
and this is uh, soy milk. It's kind of congealed on the top, but this is the, this is, we, we took some from the first batch from here and we kept it over here and I've, I've been, I've been sort of, I've been sort of eating and drinking it as we go along. <laughs> Never mind this screw. <laughs> been pretty good but cu customers have been coming uh, from 8 30 it's now about 9 9 a.m. customers are coming from 8 30 and they just line up here and they buy it directly from the person who makes it I really like that style this is the way uh, I guess tofu was sold decades ago maybe in the 1960s or 50s or before then and and you, you buy stuff directly from the person who makes it and they're eating the you want to see? Yes. 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 Uh, so we have to wait until wait until it congeals a little bit more. There's a point where the the the, the tofu you can start to see it fr uh, separating from the soy milk. So the soy milk will settle onto the bottom, and the tofu will will uh, all clump together and start rising to the top. That's the point when you you put it into the press. You put it into the press and then make the final product. And now we're setting up the boxes for that. You can see what the, the raw tofu looks like. Yeah, it is really, really silky, really smooth. Um, it's so delicate, so soft. It's so soft. It's like it's like pudding. Um, but the taste, this is this is really important thing. I, I know some of you have had tofu before, even in Japan, I've had it at the supermarket. This tofu, it it's so fresh tasting. It, I can't even compare it to anything I've ever had before because everything, all the beans, everything is made right here. And I'm in Totori Prefecture at Daisen. Um, I guess when everything is made in the spot and it's made like this by hand, crushing the beans all the way from, from getting that, um, raw ingredient to boiling it to to uh this product that you see in the water here gosh the flavor the flavor is uh, is I, I can't even describe it it's just so fresh uh, yeah. You don't even have to cut it, just just really, really uh, smooth cuts, very easy to do it. And these are the blocks, this is what the size of, of normal tofu, they're cubes. And this is where we cooked it, but we're all done. We, we make, we made it with a fire, so. We stoked this up at around 4.30 in the morning. It's been a long morning. <laughs> it's four hours ago, it's 8.30 now. Yeah. So, I'm out here in the countryside. I came here and I slept at at uh, the house in here because we were getting up so early. There was no way for me to get here in time. The only way 
is to stay here. And we had a really good dinner. We had a um, dinner together. It was a sukiyaki, and then we had. <laughs> this is Bunkichi. He's five years old. So we had dinner, and uh, <laughs> we, we might have drank a little bit more than we should have because, we, you know, I, th I think we went to bed around 9, 9.45 in the morning. <laughs> we went to bed at 9.45 in the, at night, and we woke up at, at I, I got up at 4.20 in the morning, and we were out here starting to make it around 4.40, and for the last, uh, be, Gosh, I think it took about two and a half hours to get to that product of, of really hard work. <laughs> he, really, he really wants to be in this video. <laughs> and Nansai? Gosai. Gosai, five years old. Five years old. And at, at 4.30 in the morning, it was just completely dark. Now the we had a massive typhoon here a couple of days ago, and it it, it left yesterday morning, and it's it's still kind of quiet. It's still cloudy though. King of the kilt get there. <laughs> but one of the reasons why the tofu is so good here, and they do make probably I would say the the best tofu in Japan, which might make it the best tofu in the world, is because of the purity of the water. It's all coming from Mount Daisen, which is uh, uh, the highest peak in the area. They call it the Mount Fuji of the West. And all that water that comes down here brings all these minerals uh, to the vegetables, to the land. So the soybeans, they're all sucking up that really uh, pure water. And that's the same water. There's a lot of water you can make tofu. That's the same water we were using to make it. Yeah, so it uses a lot of water. All this is coming from the mountain. What is she in there? What is there? So there's customers coming in and out uh, throughout the morning. I think we had four customers this morning. Um, I really don't know how much, how much is one block? Let's ask. Hey, Iko, ikura desu ka? 150 yen. 150 yen, 150 yes. yen. So it's a, about a, a about a dollar fifty for one block. That's a big piece of tofu too. All handmade here in uh, Dyson. These are the weights that we, we use to squeeze it out. You don't push it. If you push it, it makes it really uh, firm tofu. So we just let it settle naturally and then it gives it that silky smoothness that makes it really good tofu. So a lot of people, a lot of people that I know, they like really uh, rubbery tofu. I don't like rubbery tofu. I like the tofu to be just delicate and soft. And when you put it in your mouth, the tofu just, it just melts there. And it takes the flavor of whatever you put it in, but I like to eat it just the way it is. And there's a natural taste to tofu. There's a natural, um, it's, it's really hard to describe. I guess it's a little bit milky. I, if you've had uh, soy milk, you get an idea of what it tastes like, but... Um, oh, I'm getting a phone call from the, the city office, but you, you get a sense of what, uh, what it might taste like, but it's just so much fresher. I think a lot of it has to do with the water. The best water and is water that has no taste at all. It's just neutral. You drink the water and it's just... Uh, I, I, it's zero. <laughs> and that's the kind of water we have here, and that's what makes a tofu really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I guess I could take out a piece of tofu. I'm getting a bunch of phone calls right now. We're at that time in the morning. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, you got some of these. Oh! It's not bad. 
<laughs> uh, that's, that's what it looks like to sell. 150 yen, that's, that's an awesome deal. Tofu doesn't last very long. Once you, once you um, open it, I guess it's a, a couple of days and then whoosh, it, it goes bad pretty quick. Um, there's no preservatives, nothing like that with this tofu. It's just tofu! So I'm gonna get back to it. I still have some stuff to film for the show. I was filming all morning for the only pan episode that's coming up on this. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get to bed really early tonight because I've been up since four for something. 420 I think I said yeah what an experience though this is really good too this is the part where we squeezed out the I can try it okay let's take a look here it's hard to focus on that it's uh it's crumbly it's crumbly um it's not bad it's a little dry, but this is what's left over from the beans after we pressed the. I, I showed you earlier in the video after we we um, pressed out all of the soy milk from from it. This is what's left over. This is just the uh, the fiber from the beans. It's okay. It still got some of the flavor from the to from the um, soy milk, but it's a little bit dry. He didn't wake up for a couple of hours. Uh, he got up at uh, at like 6.30. We were mostly done by the time that happened, which was good because it would have made the video harder to film. All right, everybody. I'm going to get back to it. So there you go. There's a little bit of the inside look at to how tofu is made. $1.50 for that. Amazing deal. So I'll see you later. I'll do another live stream later on, but thanks for watching. Hey, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> he doesn't want to say bye. <laughs> I'll say bye. <laughs>